Hunter Valley still, and this is the other main industry apart from growing grapes. The original coal industry has been here a long time, and it's what was one of the main coal producing areas of Australia. Coal gets exported through the port of Newcastle. Hunter Valley, and it's a bit like the Lake District in places. Nice scenery. <coughs> this part of the country is called Liverpool Plains, and we'll shortly be going over Liverpool Mountains. Quite a bit different from Liverpool, UK. South of Tamworth in a little place called Wonderbra. No, not what is <laughs> Wallabada. <laughs> Wallabada. Wallabada. Oh, I thought it looked like Wonderbra. <laughs> anyway, it's there on the map. And there's Tamworth, and we're going over this way to Urala, where we're going to meet up with Ella Marie from Queensland, way up here, and. We had not seen them for nearly four years. So we're going to camp there for about 12 days and, and we're fairly handy for the Country Music Festival in Tamworth here. There is a bus service from Tamworth to this little town here, Bedamere, I think it's called. And then the, in relation to the coast, we are inland from, roughly from Nambuka Heads or Port Macquarie. It's a lovely picnic area here. I'll just show it to you. We're on the <coughs> Liverpool Plains and this little town is a, an absolute gem. Very clean and a great little area to stop for a coffee. Audrey makes a coffee every morning when we're on the move. And how's, how's the coffee this morning, love? Tasty. Actually made with organic milk from Aldi, wasn't it? Yep. Can I have a drop? May I? Yes, come on. This is our favourite tucker for a coffee stop. Granita biscuit. It's a bit like a digestive only a little bit more nutty. Seaweed biscuits. Rum fruit cake. And apricots and ginger. A ginger, very nice with a cup of tea. Mind you, this is coffee, having heard that. And it is coffee. Well, this is the memorial garden here in Wallabada. And here on the right is all the, the names of the people who came over on the first feet. Most of them were convicts. And this little bit on the right is the list of officers and family. If we had more time, it would be very interesting to uh, stop and read about all this. Because these are the guys who set up 
Western, uh, Westernization as we know it today in Australia after Captain Cook came and discovered it in the uh, <clears throat> late 1700s. And uh, it's such an interesting story. Here's a map, looks like the, the voyage of these old sailing ships. And here on the left is a list of convicts that were sent to New South Wales. And here we can see <coughs> Thomas Pritchard was a convict sent out in 1787 on the ship, Friendship, uh, and he was convicted in Old ba at the Old Bailey in New South Wales in 1783, and he got seven years. And here's a Walsh. William Walsh came out on the Scarborough, convicted at the Old Bailey, 1784, and he got seven years. The Walsh. So there were no. No Clarksons as convicts, no. and there were no, what's no, your, your, your maiden name? McManus. McManus. There was uh, a sailor, McManus. Yeah, there. he was an officer. Mm -hmm. Let's go and have a look. James McManus came out HMS. on the HMS Sirius. Sirius. He was a marine private. So there were no Frenches. No Frenches in the list of convicts. No. Any Frenches in the list of officers and families of the first fleet. No, no Frenches there. There's an interesting one. Samuel Rotten. He was sent home from Rio. And here's someone who took a piano. He was a surgeon. George Bouchier Wogan. Here's an interesting one. The first child born in Sydney. Born in Sydney Cove in 1888. Unknown ship. And his name was Whittle. Look at this. Died on voyage. Died on voyage. Died before the fleet sailed. Fell overboard on voyage. And this guy King. He must have been pretty good in it. Uh, second lieutenant in the Royal Navy, he became the third governor of New South Wales. So it's cheerio and goodbye to all the history that we've soaked up in this little country town, I should say bush town, on the Liverpool Plains Shire Council.